Sorry. Yeah. Attendees are coming in. So let's continue. Please, uh, I request all the attendees to turn off your camera and the mic during the webinar. Sorry. Okay, we got to mute everybody. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, let me introduce first of all Mr. Dennis, and I also want to thank first of all Mr. Dennis to be here with us. And I hope Mr. Mark is with you. And Mr. Dennis is one of the best marketers in the world, and he has been teaching and mentoring thousands of digital marketing agencies and mm -hmm. schools around the globe. He has also been featured in the business magazines like Forbes and the other digital ad agencies and the helping. Also featured in the social media examiners and one of the best green in the digital ads. He has also been serving at the X head analytics of Yahoo is also collaborated with the Snapchat business mm -hmm. and recently he uh, also collaborated with the ads and he will be releasing new brand new TikTok ad course soon. And that's a short introduction of Mr. Dan's view and the Mr. Mark is the community manager at the CTO, uh, sorry, at the Cairo Revenue. Am I right, Mr. Mark? Mark. Sorry, your mic is off, Mr. Mark. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I worked, I've worked with Dennis for eight years. I'm a marketer. I straddle two different industries, though, because I'm also an engineer. But we've done a lot of marketing, especially personal branding and events like uh, with Pitbull and uh, companies like Nike. Brown Foreman, you know, Jack Daniels, and I've been working with Dennis for almost 10 years now. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mark and Mr. Dennis. Again, thanks to, for your precious time to have among us in the Pakistani audience. And we also have some international audience as well. Mm -hmm. I also thanks to all the audiences being here. And I request during the webinar, please turn your camera and mic off so that you can get all the main points and the knowledge of Mr. Dennis. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dennis. Thank you. Okay. And by the way, I would love to see your face. Turn your microphone off and then let us, I want to see your face. So, you know, we're all, we're all together here. I want to see everyone wave to, to show that you guys are here. Turn your camera on to keep your, Keep the microphone off, but I want to I want to see you wave. Let me know if you guys are here. Because if you want to get a job, if you want to get work in digital marketing, that's right. Cool. You've got that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alifa. Please turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. If you want to get a job, even if you're like Amsal here where you're laying in bed, it looks like, right? And you're sleeping, that's okay. Because when when people see who you are. That's when they want to work with you. If you want to get a job, don't worry about how you look. See, I see Muhammad here. He's, he's there paying attention. But if you can smile, if you can show that you have energy, that's the first step. Yeah, I see Irfan, you've got that beautiful green outfit you have. That's so nice looking. Yeah, Hussein, there you go. Good job, guys. So to be able to, if you can't show your face, people are not going to want to hire you. So whether you want to be an entrepreneur and you're selling software or you're trying to get a job in digital marketing, this is going to be you know, difficult unless you can show your face. And it wasn't just because of COVID. Look at me, I don't even have any hair, right? I don't, I don't like how I look, but I know that if I want to do business, then I've got to be able to show my face. So before we get started, and show you guys some really cool things about digital marketing, stuff that I hope you've never seen before. Things which I think you'll say, wow, this is a, these are some really good ideas. These are things I wanna try. Before we get started, I want you guys to type into the chat what it is that you're looking for. Are you looking to get training on digital marketing? 
do you want to get a job doing digital marketing or are you an entrepreneur, right? Are you one of those? Let, let me know in the chat, what is your goal here? That way, by the time we're done today, your need has been met. You feel like this is awesome. We got to spend some time together. So y'all want more clients, okay? Maybe you're an employee or maybe you don't know what area of digital marketing you care about, but this is something that you're, you're curious about, right? Let us, let us know, what is it that you're looking for? Training, training for getting a part-time job. Eraj, okay, fantastic. And if you're not showing your face, I wanna see your face here. Dave, right? Let us know. We have our COO of Marketo Cat too. Fantastic, What's, you should change it to your name. What's your name? My name is Fantastic, so change your name and your profile here in Zoom so we can see that. Okay, training says she's a ghoul who's saying, I wanna be an entrepreneur, so looking for different techniques and skills to learn. Amsal, training for a part-time job. Okay, good. Anyone else? And if you are, who is, where is that coming? So if anyone is, not, is, their sound is on, I want you to mute. Continue. Okay, where's that sound coming from? It was all right. I made you a moderator. Mark, you're a moderator. I'm just going to mute you just to see if I can figure out where that sound is coming. Oh, there it was, Fatima. That's where it was coming from. Okay. And guys, just help me out if other people, because we're in a Zoom meeting so that we can coordinate and collaborate instead of a Zoom webinar. A Zoom webinar is just us broadcasting you, but we're in a meeting so we can all chat. So I ask that you just respect this as we do this. Okay. Now we're gonna do something that is not a PowerPoint presentation. And I wanna know if it's something you've ever seen before. I'm gonna share my screen and you're gonna see what it actually is like as a digital marketer, right? You wanna learn digital marketing? Then I would challenge you that you want to talk to people who actually are doing it for a living, right? So let me know, what do, you, what do you see now? What do you see on my screen? Type into the chat what you see on my screen. I want to know. I want to learn about DM. Facebook, yes. <laughs> Facebook says a doula. Maria says, I want to learn about DM. Habib, I'm interested in freelancing, so I'm looking for an opportunity. Okay. So if you guys want an opportunity, if you want to learn digital marketing, you've got to build your personal brand and you've got to get out there. Mark, feel free to, to jump in as we go through this. Say some things. Okay. So you have to be visible on all these different channels. I'm going to show you what those channels are. First off, you want to be visible on LinkedIn. Let me know in the chat, do you have a LinkedIn? Yes or no? If you don't have a LinkedIn, you need to create a LinkedIn. Yeah, okay. And you probably saw Izar's note on LinkedIn. Mark, you there? Ch chime in, so I know you're here. Sure, All yep, right. who doesn't have a LinkedIn? All right, now, what are the good components of a LinkedIn profile? And, and how do I, so if we look here at my notifications, there's a post from this morning, or was it yesterday, right? Just a few hours ago. Hey, if you're good at something, you should share it. And then what am I doing? I'm sharing a picture of me doing a training, right? And all these people are engaging on it, right? And this is what drives, look at the comments here. These are other people who want to hire digital marketers. These are agency owners. And you can see as they come in in the messages, so they're sending me messages. So this person is a digital marketing expert. So they're not a competitor of ours, right? You guys can see this. And this person is trying to grow their agency. And then they just sent, sent a message two hours ago. Hey, I have a full-time job and I'm hiring a bunch of virtual assistants. So he's probably paying five to $10 an hour, right? They hate marketing. Most people, they hate marketing. They need someone who can do marketing. So who of you would be happy to work for someone like Grant or here? Professor Jennifer, right? Teaching a bunch of students. So she's, she's reaching out. All these people 
are reaching out. Look at all these people. I'm getting tons of these people that are reaching out, right? This guy runs an agency. He wants awareness of his clubhouse event, right? And he's, he's asking for help, right? So if you go to my newsfeed, yeah, good, put, put your LinkedIn. Good job, Charles. This guy runs one of the largest agencies, JC Height, right? And he says, so proud that Height Digital is growing. He's got 80 team members, awesome. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say something that's congratulatory. Good job, JC. Love to, love seeing your agency grow. Why am I doing this? Why, why would I do something like this? Mark. Well, you're building, you're building uh, capital and connection, social capital, because when you comment on other people's things, that's going to build your reputation online and they're going to comment on your things. And that's basically SEO for social. Yeah. For invisible. So then you can see here that I've got 26,000 connections and I have more than that that follow me. Right. So when I'm making posts, then if we come here to my activity, see posts and activity, you should be doing a post every day on LinkedIn. Look, these are my posts. This one, 13 minutes ago. Hey, come join us, right? So now people are, are coming in. And you can see some of these posts do better than others. Here's one. Have you guys have heard of Fiverr? Let me know in the chat. Have you heard of Fiverr? Hello. A great freelancing site. Let, let me know in the chat. Say yes or say I love Fiverr. Or, no, I've never heard of Fiverr. Yeah. You guys are on Fiverr? No. Okay. Fiverr is a great place. Look at this. So I'm on the homepage of Fiverr right now. Well, I think if I'm linked, I'm like I'm linked into or logged into Fiverr Pro, so maybe it's not going to show up because it's a different thing here. But Fiverr, you've got Fiverr. Let's see Fiverr is my name. Look, personal branding instructor, Facebook ads. So then this is Fiverr that's promoting us, right? So here's a course that Fiverr has, but they asked me to make these courses. So you see how when you are sharing your content, now this is actually a full on course. Look at here on the right side. Look at all this, right? When you have, when you're being featured by a well-known network, then people think you must already be pretty good, right? Because of the connections that you have. But Huge what if, play. what's that? Huge authority play. Authority play. So then how, how would we, Build authority. Well, you're demonstrating authority right here, being on Fiverr site, and you're doing the marketing for Fiverr. Yeah. So in the combination. So I'm going into my Amazon photos, which is automatically uploading all the things that I have. And Amazon's very smart, and it's telling me where I am and what I'm doing. And you can see that, like, for example, we're in a clubhouse room. And Mark and Larry Kim are speaking together in the same room. That's pretty awesome, right? And I could see, you know, here we had lunch, some sushi. Here we have these pictures where we're traveling to different places, right? And I could do the same thing for other people that we know, right? And I could go look, look at Mark, for example, here on Facebook and see what he's done. You know a lot of people about what they're, by who they are and who they're with, right? So you can see, you can see his posts, right? But what if I, what people really care about is looking at your photos, right? So what are, what are these like here? What's this photo? What's this telling us? Well, it's, you know, it's spending time with Josh Nelson. So that's high authority right there. We did an interview together actually talking about some marketing concepts for my business uh, senior scorecard. Yeah. And he's a specialist in starting agencies. So he's the guy to talk to on that. Yeah. So who's Josh Nelson? Well, 
he runs seven figure agency. So he's teaching all these agency owners. Actually, let's do this. He's teaching agency. He's, he's the top trainer. So you can see here, Josh Nelson, pumped to have Dennis you here at our conference, right? So here we're training other people. The best way to get a job is to establish your authority because you are expert here. See, look. In the exercises here, we talk about what our why is, what we stand for, our mission. So it's not just time. Look, they have my face here on the right side there. You see that? We want to make, and it ties with like the Simon Sinek start with why. So if you can tie your why to a piece of news. So if let's say you have no authority and nobody knows who you are. Okay. So that little banner with my Someone name on it, right? Has authority. So where did this content come from? And why is this important? So this guy, this is Josh Nelson, who's very well known in the United States because he's training up all these agencies, right? And he's featuring, he's featuring me, but Mark is also with Josh. So anytime there's a picture or video or whatnot with Mark and Josh together, then it tells other people, if they don't know who Mark Wagner is, but they know Josh Nelson, then they automatically think Mark must be pretty good, right? So let's say Mark didn't have, if Mark didn't have any authority in digital marketing, then he would have to establish it by showing who he's connected with. And I'm gonna do it on all these different channels. So even if you don't know, maybe for example, Josh Nelson, or you don't have the ability to get this kind of media featuring, then the easiest thing to do is you just do it on Twitter. And you have to choose what it is that you want to be good at. Don't just say, you know, I do digital marketing, right? But choose a good photo in the background that shows that you're professional, ideally if you're speaking, right? And it's human nature for people to want to follow people. They're going to want there to be some figureheads in the space that oh, this is the guy, he's the guy, he knows all about this subject. Even if the knowledge is more spread out than that, there's going to be a certain ratio of people who end up being the figurehead in any industry. So- and You can watch it again later, right? Hmm? Maybe, yeah. So is let's moderate, this is the Zoom meeting. So some people have their sound on. So Izar, yeah. can you help us yeah. out? Some of these people have their sound on. Yep. Yeah, I'm doing this. All right. All right, good. Now this is, Mark, tell us about, about what we're looking at here. Oh, this was the Trend Digital Conference. In, uh, where was that again? That was in Minnesota, I think. Yeah, uh, we were talking about digital marketing and personal branding there. We were talking about a lot of the things you need to do, the, the three by three. So making one minute videos, and when you're, this is for just getting started when you, when you want to establish a personal brand and you don't have any authority to begin with. So the first thing you do is you want to put together a topic wheel where you figure out who does have authority that is in your circle that you know, and then link to them, build stories that connect you to them. And they don't have to be stories about the industry, about marketing. They could be any kind of story. When I was, you know, I did this. So you're developing your mission, developing who you are and just getting them to know you. That's the first step in the know, like, trust. And then you move on to other things that will help you sell and, and lead down the funnel. Let's play this clip. I've not seen this before. Let's see, is it, any, is it good? Okay, well, we're not locked. Okay, we're closed. Okay. So I found out about this about a month later. I was going to say, hey, you're going to drop out your house, your car's gone. So I, I, I call the police. I find out that it was towed. It was a month ago. I called the phone company. They won't do that. They won't do I can't believe I shared this story in front of thousands of people. So I finally figured out who. Isn't that awesome though? Yeah. <laughs> when, when you have the ability to share your story in front of a lot of people, you want to share that you're doing that, don't you? But what if live events are shut down? What, like in-person events where there's lots of people, thousands of people, right? And you're speaking on stage like, but doesn't he look good? Isn't that a very, you know, executive? Wow, it looks very powerful, don't you think? That's very nice, right? What do you think, Azar? Pretty awesome, huh? But what if you can't do that? What's the next best yeah. thing? What do you think? That's amazing, sharing story in front of thousands of audience. Yeah. So now what I want to do is show you the power of doing that in front of all of us here. I want you in the top right in the view, change it into grid mode. 
so we can see, or at gallery, so we can see everybody, right? Can you see everyone here? Oh, Charles is there. Are you wearing your bathrobe? What is that? That's pretty cool. That blue thing, that looks comfy. <laughs> and then I want you to think about what, what your story is. So this is not a webinar where you're just sitting and watching, okay? I'm asking you to participate. And here I'm bringing my phone, pulling out my phone. And I wanna say here, I'm just gonna make a video and I'll say, The key to building your brand and becoming a pro digital marketer is to be able to speak in front of other people and share your knowledge and your why. My why is to train up the next batch of digital marketers, to give them jobs and give them opportunities. And I'm so grateful for all of you guys. I want you to type yes into the chat if you're excited about digital marketing. All of you guys here on Zoom, this is the equivalent of public speaking. Say yes inside the chat so that I know that you guys are here, look at that. Yes, 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 that's awesome. Okay, now you see, I just made a video here. And then what I'm gonna do is share it on, you guys choose a network, what network should we share it on? Share it on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, okay, good, we'll share it on LinkedIn. And by the way, don't worry about, you know, you can only post, you know, once a day or something like that. I just made a post a few minutes ago. And now we just made a 30 second video. And then I like to tag other people as part of it. So I'm gonna say, thank you. And I'm gonna tag Izar. For hosting me and Mark. And you can see Go to LinkedIn too. Go, go follow me on LinkedIn so we can connect. Go follow Mark to talk about digital marketing opportunities. Okay. There it is. Now go here. Check this out. So what Mark would do is he would take this, this piece here and he would share it to LinkedIn. Now who here wants an opportunity to share in front of our audience here Something, a, a quick story, a, an interesting nugget, a piece of advice, right? What's something that you wanna share? I'll share a few items as, as a couple examples, right? This is your opportunity to build your brand right now to speak in front of a bunch of people. What an incredible opportunity, right? In the chat, let me know. Do you have something that you would like to share? Some kind of yes. request. Dr. Zamini, Ms. M. Lawrence. Yeah, what do you wanna share? Let me know what do you want to share about, and then we'll bring a few guys up, and Mark and I will critique you. Yeah, even even our buddy with the with the blue robe and the cool whiteboard in the background. <laughs> okay, and while you guys, I want you guys to, to think about what it is that you want to talk about in a thirty second video, and then we will we will give you some some practice and, and show you how to do that, and we'll tell you how to do a why video and a how video and even a what video if we have enough time, okay? So think about what that is, Mr. Charles. Where are you coming from, Mr. Charles? I wanna get that cool blue robe like you do. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm from sunny Sydney, Australia. You'll have to excuse the very casual at time, just having a very lazy Saturday afternoon at home. I wasn't sure on what was to be expected from <laughs> Yeah, pleasure to meet with you all. And I, I guess what I can add today is work together, grow together, network, collaborate, work as a team, don't compete. Amazing. Now, there you go. That's a good piece of advice. Now, you shared it in your blue bath bathrobe, so maybe that's not quite as authoritative, but I'm wearing a T-shirt. Mark's actually wearing a nice shirt. But look, you see this here? This is the video we just made, right? And I'm just sharing things that are behind the scenes. And when people see this, they resonate because they I'm demonstrating by direct example, public speaking. And if I go to my guys, name a city, name, name a, a city anywhere in the world. I'll go back to my Amazon photos.
Oh, Islamabad, Lahore. I've not been to that one. How about another one? <laughs> Tialcott, is that, the, is that where you're from, Fatima? Jakarta, I like Jakarta, okay. So let's see. Let's do, oh, why am I signed out? Wasn't I just signed in a minute ago? Okay. Jakarta. Okay. Why is this not showing up? Jakarta. Okay. Maybe I need to search in another tool. Maybe let's see Google Photo. My San Diego. San Diego? Yeah. That's too easy. This is, one, this is what I want you guys to think about. Um, first, I have to demonstrate. If I'm not demonstrating it, then I'm, you know, I have to show you that I, I can actually do it before. Jakarta. Oh, I don't tag. Huh? Well, okay, fine. San Diego. Oops. Or maybe I just put in Indonesia. Maybe that's what I need. So these are. These are the photos that I have in San Diego, right? Look at all these things. And when you have these moments like this, this is Mark and I, where we're with the folks who run some of the largest magazines and conferences in the United States for boating and for uh, aircraft and maritime and other yachts like this this guy owns multiple yachts so he's got a he's got a convention with thousands of people where they come and buy they buy and sell yachts and all the manufacturers so when you have moments like this you want to be able to share them right think about how cool that is where you can take any particular city and tell a story about a moment in time so mark if you were to tell a story what would you say here and this was during the social media marketing world conference you're on mute. Dang, Zoom. Used to Discord. It was nighttime in San Diego, and everyone was just loosening up. We had had a bunch of big speakers that day. We had spoken that day twice, and we were going out. And we're actually, we're coming. We're on the way back, moving back, and we had a great conversation with these guys about their yachts, the events they throw, and how they market boats. And there's us talking earlier in the day. Hey, look. Here's one. This is one from. But he has this see? great cool Invisalign. He basically braces it in your eye. You put them on at night and they reshape your eyes so you can see better. And they're really good for kids because when you're young and your eye is developing, the sooner you do it, you can permanently change your eye. Now, what's going on here? I'll talk about Invisalign. And that's a friend of ours. So I'm actually kind of repping a, a brand that we market for, actually. Yeah, we're talking about one of our clients. Dr. Mark Page, who's an you know is an eye doctor in Arizona, right? So that's awesome. And then we have what's going on here. This is Mark and Joel Com. Joel Com is one of the fathers of the internet, right? How awesome that's is that? Joel Com is one of the most famous people on Twitter in terms of internet marketing, right? So then when we have these fun moments where they're hanging out, this is in the speaker's room, then it's showing authority. And I could take this video and I could save it. There's a video here. There it is. And I'll say Mark and Joel or whatever, a JPEG. I thought this was a video, no? How's that not a video? And I could go to Twitter and I'll say, I'll go look for Joel Com. And I want to tag these, e these people. Now, maybe you don't know Joel Kahn. Then what you do is you just engage on his profile. Because if, if he, because he'll, oh, he changed his name to Sir Lord, Lord Joel. Okay, fine. He's really big into this crypto NFT thing. But look, 681,000 followers. And I'll say, here, do you guys remember? And Travis. Don't want to talk to him about those NFTs. <laughs> there, see? Now he's going to notice that and he's going to comment back, right? But let's say that I don't have a relationship with Joel, but I know Joel is really big on NFTs and crypto. Then what I'm going to do is just engage on the post that he has. So here's a post he made three hours ago. 
and I'll say, okay, I'll click like on that. Bitcoin collection, pre-release NFTs are dropping daily. Did you get yours? Oh, okay. Well, let's see what else he has. The Nifty Show, four guests. And then I'm gonna comment, so nifty. Okay, right? And I'm not selling anything. I'm just, I'm very lightweight getting him to notice me, right? So I'm just commenting, I'm liking commenting. But when I do this, I wanna say things that are relevant. So I don't wanna just say, hey, that was a good post or that's really funny. I don't know enough about NFTs and crypto, so I'd have to study him, right? So look, Joel retweeted Gary Vaynerchuk. You guys know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, right? So let's see, extremely huge nifty show. Okay, that's cool, right? And I'm just telling, I'm just sharing moments in time. I'm sharing little pieces of expertise. So we can even come over here, right? I said quality time. So people are going to engage in that. It's in Florida, so he might not, not see that right, right now. And look, here are the people who are commenting and engaging on my post right now. We have chiropractors. We have other sorts of entrepreneurs. I'm getting friends requests. You see, it's, if you wanna get a job in digital marketing, what you need to first do is be a human, literally. Just being simply showing that you're a human, right? What's going on here, Mark? We're hanging out. Oh, that's um, yeah, that that was great. You guys, uh, in the, so you guys know digital marketing. Who is that in the middle there? Do you know who that is in the middle? Type his name into the chat. This is the most famous guy in social media marketing. It's Michael Stelzner. And Brennan. Oh, you guys recognize Brennan. Yeah, Brennan is our sock guy. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And I think I'm going to not like this first. Tag this one. Okay, so I'm going to tag this one and I'll say Michael Stelzner. There he is, Michael Stelzner. I can't wait for social media marketing world to be back again. All right, see, so there he's, he's here now. So I've tagged him. Let's go look at him. So this guy is the most famous guy in our, in our industry of digital marketing, it's this guy, right? So anything I can do to associate with this guy, look, who's this guy here? This guy with the Snapchat shirt. It's Joel Com. right? So it's all a lot of the same people. And notice I'm clicking like on his stuff, right? So I'm clicking like on his stuff and then I'm making lightweight conversation. So here he is, he's inviting me to be in a clubhouse room, right? And what is he saying here? Hey Dennis, hope all is well with you. I'm gonna be doing a clubhouse uh, on Saturday, March 6th at 9 a.m. Pacific specifically focused on local business and clubhouse and what the opportunities are. And I pinged Bruce Irving, Ali Bloyd and um, Tyler Anderson to see if they're interested. And I wanted to know if you were interested. Of course I'm interested. So I replied back. Count me in, love to join you. Thank you. See, do you guys ever do that? Just reply back with a voice or reply back with the video, right? And you, you can see, See, then we have this conversation. It goes on and on and on, right? It's awesome, right? So you gotta, you gotta build these kinds of relationships across all these social networks. And when you do this, this is the thing that most digital marketers don't understand. When you do this, this is how you stand out compared to all these other people, right? Look, I got these. Bonnie David commented on Josh Nelson's photo. Oh boy, what did she say? I love this photo. Of course you do, Miss Bonnie, right? So what do you guys think about this strategy? This is not a sales strategy. It's very lightweight. It's very indirect. It's getting boring to me. All right, let's do something fun. All right, let's do, who wants to participate? Let's write a creative story, shall we? Or do we wanna do a oh, this blog is post powerful. together? What's that? 
This is powerful. I was just telling someone about, so I guys for just as a side note, so I have a, a, a startup that is involved in AI and DevOps and I write all of my content using this. It's fantastic. It writes really good content. So if you have a client that needs a website up and they need to have you know substantial amount of articles that are meaningful, this is going to change your life. Charles, I'll meet yourself. Let's see you. Charles, let's tell a story. Charles Frisetto was, what's something you're doing? Give me a story or a situation. All right, so I'm working with renewable waste. I've got a, a client who's a farming family in southwestern New South Wales. They've created panel board out of rice stubble which will, is quite a disruption for the timber industry. We're also looking to replace all your plastic forks and plates across the board. That's also been replaced. And also Bitcoin, cryptocurrency being- All right, one a, thing, let's do one, one thing. That's too many things. We're gonna write a blog post or, or some, let's do a blog post outline. What's the topic? All right, um, let's talk about cryptocurrency. Let's go Bitcoin. Bitcoin, okay, what about Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is now becoming a topic for- No, 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 I'm not asking for the, I'm asking for the blog post topic or the title. What about it? The angle of Bitcoin, who should do it? What are the top coin? Like, what is the, give me a title. Why crypto's, you know, gonna eat the world. Okay, future of Bitcoin. The future of Bitcoin, okay. Okay, and give me a tone of voice of a person or it could be a emotion or something. A tone of voice or a person or emotion? I could say, you know, in the tone of Malcolm Gladwell, in the tone of, you know, whoever, Elon Musk. Let's do Elon Musk. Okay. Okay. All right. And do you want to say something about the future of Bitcoin? Oh, we'll just generate this just to show you guys how this works. Okay. Yeah. This is the future of digital marketing, what Mark was just telling you. I want you guys to understand where AI is so critical. If you know how to use AI. All right. So now we've generated a blog post outline. Bitcoin's a digital currency, is no central bank used to purchase goods and services. Value fluctuates wildly, one, two, three, four, five. So here it is, right? This is a blog post outline. We can expand each of these into a, into a paragraph. Look, you see this? This is all being generated by a bot and it's unique content. You could run it through Copyscape or whatever your favorite plagiarism tool is and it will say that it, this is unique content. Did you know that the number of Bitcoins is limited to 21 million, which makes them more valuable than finite or these other unlimited currencies, sorry, right? What do you think? I like it. Pretty cool, huh? Now I can turn these into other things as well. So guys, let me know, do you wanna do a creative story or maybe we can do a, a headline for this or let's do a sentence expander. Let's, let's start with the story, right? G guys, give me something. Maybe Izar, give me a, the beginning of a story that, this, that the AI can complete. Come on, Mark. Let's talk about TikTok ads. What about TikTok ads? TikTok ads. Uh future and marketing. Okay, TikTok ads are better than Facebook ads. Izar told me that, and I'm gonna say jealous. <laughs> That's my tone. Okay. All right, and about five or 10 seconds later, Izar told me that TikTok ads are better than Facebook ads. I can't believe that Izar told me that TikTok ads are better than Facebook ads. I mean, it's not even a real social media site. Izar said they're better, but I don't believe him. Eh, let's, I don't like those ones. I, I want more, okay. Isn't this kind of neat? I can generate in any language I want too. All right, here we go. I'm surprised to hear that. I've always had better luck with Facebook ads and TikTok ads. They're free and can be fun to make. Actually, that's not true. A TikTok has a $20 daily minimum budget. I told Azar that Facebook ads are better than TikTok ads. In fact, they're the only ones worth investing in for startups. I wish 
I could ask Azar to tell me more about how much he makes from his TikTok ads. It's true that TikTok ads are better. All right, who's drawing on the screen? In fact, they're more engaging and help you build a strong brand presence. Isn't that neat? What do you guys think of this? What does this tell us? I could do it for any product. I could write, look at this one. Someone put in Tony Hawk soccer helmet. And here it is. They just literally pasted in the company product or the, and then a, a description from the e-com detail. And then it brought this whole thing in. Just started writing all this content. Really good. Isn't that neat? What do you guys think about that? Is this interesting? Yeah. What does this mean for it's us? Done for you. And yeah. what is red? This um, what is? How do we get rid of this red? Whoever did this red circling here on the screen? <laughs> Isn't that neat? Okay. Now, what if I told you? What's that? It's the zoom drawing things. Who did this? I don't. Yeah. <clears throat> So what do you guys think? What questions do you have for Mark and I? There's so many different areas within digital marketing. I want you to understand the key is that for you to get a job, you have to be able to connect with other people and you have to show things that are interesting. You have to show who you're connected with, right? We have Suzanne here in the background and she's, she's doing stuff here. I think she wants to be in the background secretly. So when I do webinars, she's in the background more often than normal. Right? <laughs> There's our video studio up there, you see that? And then we have a whiteboard here where we do other kinds of videos. We have a big light, you see this big light up here? Isn't that neat? So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff here, right? People just wanna be able to, to connect with you. Really, like this. Who wants to, to tell a story in front of everyone here and give this a shot? If no one will raise the hand, we will pick the one. <laughs> uh, Fuang Cook, is that the Eiffel Tower in the background there? Is that Paris? It's a fake Paris background. <laughs> yes, I, I was planning to go um, last year for my friend's wedding, but due to COVID, I had to cancel everything. So uh, this is as close as I'll get to Paris. <laughs> well, that is pretty cool. Paris, <laughs> I love you. Paris. So what, what, maybe let's write a blog post about that. Oh. Yeah. Always wanted to, I had always wanted to go to Paris, but COVID prevented that tra those travel plans. Okay. Actually, okay, so I could do it this way. And now I've got some titles for my Okay. What do you think? Is it Fuang? Did I say that right? It's to his. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's use this one. Okay. And here we go. So we're writing a blog post. Okay. Oh. Just keep okay. It yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I I had some uh, Zoom technical difficulty, so I yeah. apologize for the delay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fuang was so excited to finally have enough money to go on vacation. First thing he did after getting his paycheck was to book a ticket for Paris, France. He always wanted to visit the Eiffel Tower to see the beautiful architecture of Parisian buildings. But then one day COVID called Fuang telling him that his credit, okay, so this thing doesn't know that COVID is the, it's a year behind that the AI has ingested the internet, but it's a year behind in the data that it's using. Okay, so this one's not as good, but let's go to, let's go to creative story. Yeah, it's just I'll always has uh, always wanted to visit Paris because because what? Uh, honestly, the the chocolate croissants, <laughs> chocolate the, croissants? The, the the pastries, man, the pastries, um, the coffee. Uh, what else? The um, Oh, the, the whole the whole theater production. Um, I, I hear it's 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 phenomenal. I mean, other other monuments. It, 
as well too, but um, that's not really on my. <laughs> oh, who's someone that's famous? You know, you could say Samuel L. Jackson, or you could say Donald Trump, or somebody. Somebody name somebody. Um, tone of voice. Um, it's. I, I was just watching basketball earlier and. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about Stephen Curry, so I'll-, I'll Steph I'll Curry. Okay. <laughs> Good, so how would Steph Curry say it? All right, and, but we could do it in any language too. Oh. We'll, let's do it oh. in English and then, then let's do it in French. Yeah. Or we can do it in, you know, Arabic or something, right? All right, here we go. By the way, I don't want to get too hung up on, on any one tool. I just want to show you the idea. I just want to open up your mind on what's possible, see? After eating an eclair, she ordered a hot cup of coffee au lait and she savored, savored every sip. She noticed people walking by on the street and were wearing costumes of different periods, blah, 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 blah. Isn't that cool? It was a long flight from California to Paris. Where are you, by the way? Are you not in California, are you? Oh, I am. I, I, I live in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, it's, so it knows. It knows <laughs> that you're in California. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, how, how did, yeah, was that a coincidence or it I just? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> It was only when the plane touched down at Charles de Gaulle Airport, which is the airport there, that foreign yes. eyes began to open again. Her excitement picked up as the plane taxi into the gate. And everyone around her started getting ready off their seats. Fong jumped out of her seat with all the energy it left in her body and ran over to be the first one off the plane. She didn't want anyone else getting there first. She wanted everything, but when she arrived and walked around, blah, 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 blah. It smelled just like Vietnam. Whoa. You, you're Vietnamese in origin? I identify as ethnic Chinese. I, I actually don't speak any Vietnamese. Um, well, I'm Chinese too, but here it's, it's, I think it's picking up on, on the background. It smelled just like Vietnam, <laughs> isn't it me? I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. It's stuck in the bacon Paris with the most amazing croissants. The crust of the dough is thin like paper, but sturdy enough to hold up all that buttery goodness inside and blah, 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 blah. Isn't this great? <laughs> Authentic French bakery. Its windows were full of trays of macarons and eclairs, which made Fong's mouth water. She eagerly went inside. As soon as she stepped inside through the doors, all eyes turned towards her. Bonjour, said one woman behind the counter. Wow. Now name, name someone else. Let's do it in the name of some, do you speak French? I, I do not, I do not. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, okay. By the way, this is legitimate digital marketing. We're just having a little fun, okay? <laughs> if you wanna go into Google Analytics and, and, and all this kind of detail, we can do that, right? I just, now imagine Gordon Ramsay saying this. You know what they say, Paris is always a good idea. Well, let me tell you about my last trip to the City of Lights. You could read this. I was on an epic quest for the perfect cup of coffee and croissant. So I set out to the nearest cafe, which happened to, see, I can't say it in the voice of Gordon or in the voice of whoever. You can see this? <laughs> That's neat, huh? I wanna also show you <laughs> my friend Amir, who is in Pakistan. And he's been working on our documents here. You can see, you know, hey, Amir, work on these documents. And he's working on it. this is just a few hours ago and these are documents where we are making brochures for different agencies that we power right so here's our packages and here's what we do right you can see this is a very simple very simple sort of document but we can take ones that are a little bit more complex this is our university program so we teach at a lot of colleges. They always choose the worst pictures of me. Why do they choose that picture? You can see, right? This is, so when agencies or when universities say they want training, we do a lot of training with them. And people like Amir make $13 an hour producing documents for us, producing books. He's a graphics designer, but we have video editors. We have people that do Facebook ads. We have people who do analytics and optimization, right? Isn't that kind of neat though? You can see. So we can write full on books here. 
And we love employing our friends in the Philippines, Pakistan, India, other places. Tell me who here would be interested in becoming a virtual assistant in our program? What do you guys think? Yeah, everyone, Dennis always has the opportunities for everyone who has done something already or has some experience, but he also teaches everyone. He also have the checklist process and all things to give all the, his experience. And yeah. Also, he shares his courses with every employee he on board. Is that right, Mr. Dennis? That is right. So if you have no experience, we want to give you access to our training. No cost. Because we want to see you guys yeah. get jobs. But we don't just give out jobs. If you have no experience, that's okay. If you have a little bit of experience, that's okay. But there's one thing that I want to see you do, and that's making 15-second videos. Okay? I want you to pull out your phone and hold it up to the screen so I can see that you have your phone. Your phone, this is how this is how you get jobs. I want to see that. Yeah. There you are. Alifa, good job. What kind of phone is that you have there? Charles has got his phone. What kind of phone is that, Charles? Gul, Saad, Amsal. How no, about the rest Samsung AI30, which isn't bad. Good camera. All right. Yeah, Raheem, you got your phone. What kind of phone is that, Raheem? Now, how about the rest of you guys that don't that aren't showing your phones and aren't sharing your screens? What is going on with you guys? There's something. Well, you guys don't want jobs, do you? <laughs> I have phone also. What kind of phone is that you're holding up, Mark? This is a Galaxy S9 Plus. And I know I probably should have the S11, but I'm gonna switch over to iPhone soon, I think. Yeah. Thing is, I like writing apps for Android, so can't make your own apps for iPhone. Yeah, if you're attending your session on your phone, that's okay too, then show me your face, right? Yeah, Mohammed, some of us are taking out, yeah, Abdul Basit, I'm attending the session using my phone. That's okay, yeah. This is how you're gonna get access to our training. What I want you to do, we're gonna break into some rooms. Have you guys heard of Zoom rooms before? Zoom rooms are really cool. So we're gonna break into rooms and we'll have groups of five of us, okay? So the system's automatically gonna split us into groups of five. And I want you guys to turn on your phones and practice making little 15 second stories, introducing yourself, okay? Watch, I'll do one for you just to show you. Got my phone here and I will say, in fact, I'll do it this way. That way you can see all you guys in the background, right? Hey guys, Dennis Yu, CEO of Blitzmetrics, and I love to train up other people in digital marketing, including all my friends here, Izar and all my Pakistan friends. And I'd love, love to connect with you guys. So there, I've just made a video, right? Just like I did here. And I want you guys to take turns making videos. And we're gonna go into Zoom rooms. We're gonna do the Zoom room for five minutes, which is gonna go by really fast. You're gonna think that the time only lasted a minute and then we're gonna come back and of the people who've made their videos, we're gonna give you access to our training for free. This is training that other people will pay $5,000, but because you are here hanging out on a Saturday morning or Friday night, we're gonna give you access to this. When you go through our training and get access, if you qualify, we're going to put you in touch with people who want to hire because there are thousands of businesses that wanna hire. Is that a fair deal? You guys ready for that? Yeah, for those of us who have your phones, Fuang, yeah. Your name almost sounds like phone. Okay, we're gonna move into breakout rooms and let's see, we're gonna do, how do we do 13 breakout rooms? Here we go. Set it up. I already set the up. Okay. It's making the brooms. All right, let's see. That should work. Why is it not doing this? Everyone's going into their rooms now. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right. Normally it happens immediately. I'm wondering why this is taking so long. 
All right, so we're gonna do this. Why is it not, uh, not everyone in the room? There, okay, it's doing it slowly. All right, so in your rooms, I wanna see you guys practice making videos with your phone and then come back and let's play some of your videos and I'll give you, Mark and I will give you a critique. All right. You guys excited to make videos in your rooms? I'm gonna pop in and out of some of these rooms. Mark and I are admin. We can pop into any of these rooms. Or some of you guys don't wanna to go to rooms. Is that why you're still hanging here? Okay, we have three that are unassigned. Okay. I just right. assigned. What's that? I just assigned them. Okay, so I think if everyone's already in rooms, do I close? I don't close all rooms, do I? No, I think it closes all the rooms if we do that. Oh, you know what? Because people are not joining the rooms. That's why. Assign again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna close it and try it again. One more time. Okay. Rooms will close in fifty-seven seconds. Breakout rooms. We're gonna try again. All the rooms are gonna close in just a minute. I want you guys to learn to make video. And I don't like making video, but I made one to show you that I could do it, right? Okay. And if you're in one of these rooms, go ahead and click exit the room. Don't exit the Zoom, just exit the room. I think it must be a, must be a bug here. Normally it just instantly pops people in these different rooms. Okay. Who is that? Let's mute all attendees. Okay. All right. Mr. Mark, you can unmute. I'll unmute you. There you go. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work. Well. I'll give it a few more seconds. Why are people still in these rooms? I think it's going to shut people. All right. I'm going to open all the rooms now. Okay. Get everyone into our rooms. Not joined. I wonder if this is some, I wonder if this is like a Pakistan thing. Everyone should be in a room. I don't know why they're still here. Maybe they have to select to go to the room themselves. Yeah. That is weird. I've done this like 50 times. Why is this not? Okay, I'm just gonna broadcast a message. Okay, come back to the main room. I'm just gonna close all the rooms. All right. That all right. was a great experience, sir. Yeah, you enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah, we enjoyed it really. Because you know, eight people, and we have uh, some kind of confidence to speak in front of all the people. <laughs> is that what it is? It's a confidence thing? <laughs> yeah, it's it really a confidence issue. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I want to see I'm you. Fine. I lost internet connection during the breakout rooms. Okay. Well, when we've done it before, it's been in larger groups of people that we're familiar with. So if you don't know, if, if this is unfamiliar to you, you might be hesitant and maybe you haven't seen a Zoom room before. But it's pretty cool. It looks like we'll all be back in the next 13 seconds. So if you're in a room, you're getting automatically kicked out and brought back in here in about five seconds. All right. And I think we might've lost some people too. <laughs> All right, let's open up to some questions. What, what questions do you have for Mark and I? What do you think? Was this confusing? Was it inspiring? Are you open to making videos so that you can be more visible and get more work. Are you maybe concerned about your English isn't very good? You're really confused. Okay. What is the number one skill you wanna learn in digital marketing? How about that? Let's start there. What do you wanna be? 
You want to be a graphics designer? You want to be a copywriter? You want to build websites? Charles does a lot of videos on LinkedIn. That's cool. Improve my video content? Yeah. Writer? Okay. So you should use some of these content tools. It beats the world's best writers, like I was just showing you. I'm a pretty good writer. The tool's better than me. Graphics designer? Yeah, just like our buddy Amir from Pakistan. We could hire a lot more graphics designers because most people are going to Fiverr or Design Pickle or one of these other places. Graphics designer, graphics content writer, fashion designer. Okay, good. Well, if you want to be hired as a designer, do you have your LinkedIn updated? Search engine optimizer? Saad, if you're good at SEO, I'd invite you to take our SEO course because we need to hire a couple more people to do SEO. Love okay. to market anything on social. Yeah, social media is a great opportunity. Fantastic. SEO, Bahan, love it. Habib, I'm working on Fiverr from one month. I made gigs on Fiverr for content writing. Okay, very good. So let me ask you, based on what we covered today, what is it that you have to do to stand out so people are going to hire you for graphic design or content or SEO or social media marketing? What is it you have to do? Because if I go to Fiverr, I'm going to see thousands of people to do this, right? So how are you going to stand out? What are you going to do? Sana, but have interest to learn about social media marketing or digital marketing, okay? Dr. Zameen, what kind of doctor are you, Dr. Zameen? Content writer and social media writers. All right, Abdul Basit, already done with SEO and WordPress. Fantastic, you know, we're hiring a lot of people to do that. Muhammad social media activist and writer. I probably shouldn't say Muhammad too much because everyone's in Muhammad. There's so many Muhammads here. Arshi, yeah. social media marketing and graphics designer. Okay. So Mark, what, what does everyone need to know to get a job based on what we covered today? Well, everybody needs to know how to have authority, put themselves out there and have the right connections. So you need to build, you need to demonstrate that you know something useful to someone so that they'll hire you. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> they should have some authority in their niche, in their specific niche. Yeah. Mm. But you can fake it. You can have perceived authority if you're a very good speaker. If you can speak clearly on a subject, you, can, you can't totally fake it, but you can get an edge. You can get a little 10, 20% more than you actually know because we're always learning, right? So we can't start off as the expert. But if you can demonstrate that you're confident in what you're doing, you'll be able to get those initial roles where you can build the real experience. Yeah, and you want to know about getting experience? Let me show you something. So you guys may know that we had the Golden State Warriors as a client for five and a half years. Steph Curry is a well-known basketball player. But are you guys familiar with the Golden State Warriors? It's a basketball team, right? Wong knows this. So what we did for them was we ran their ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, we built landing pages, we sold tickets, we sold merchandise. And this is Basecamp, our project management tool. So you can see that Daniel Goodrich started in our program. This is years ago. He's been with us almost seven years now, full time. And his first project out of school, graduating from Brigham Young University, was to work on the Golden State Warriors. So here we have an ad, and you can see organic was 3.3 million and 2.7 million we put on ads. So this post alone had 6 million reach and lots of comments and shares and likes, right? And here's another one. This is a highlight shot. And you can see that, you know, it's because Steph Curry makes these crazy shots that no human can make. And you can see that we've been boosting these. And sometimes, you know, we win a game, right? And then we're showing these highlights and we're selling tickets. So when we do things like this, with their permission, of course, we are highlighting their success, which ends up being PR as far as they are concerned. So here's one where we're talking about what is it like running ads for the Golden State Warriors? Now imagine here, we have this whole video on how we're running ads for the Golden State Warriors and what we learned. And did you know that in the NBA, there's 82 regular season games of which 41 are home games, right? And that means we're selling tickets on those ones. And we have a podcast, right? And on the podcast, we're talking about how the Golden State Warriors 
are making money and here's, here's what we do, right? Now, if you, let's say that you were like Daniel and you had some experience, a little bit of experience doing the, the ads for the Golden State Warriors. Oh, look, Survey Monkey. You guys have heard of Survey Monkey? That's a well-known yes. tool. So they interviewed us, right? What is this? Oh, no, no, that's not it. That's not the one I'm looking for. We put a quiz there. Larry King. But there's, there's a lot of these pieces of content, right? With the Golden State Warriors. Now, if you've had experience, some experience, maybe you were a designer and you worked on some of the matchups, you know, Steph Curry and LeBron James, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe you worked on some of the new merchandise. Maybe you built a website landing page. Maybe you helped on the email marketing. Maybe you did any one of these things. You had, let's just say you had a little experience, not very much, just a little experience, not, not running the whole thing, but just one small thing, one small part with social media marketing. How do you think that would help you in getting more work to say that you worked on the Gold State Warriors and you did this one part? What do you think? I'm looking at you, Fong, because you mentioned Steph Curry. What do you think, right? If you had experience working on one client, but what if, but then you're saying, but how would I get to work on a client like the Golden State Warriors? I don't have any experience. Why would they hire me? I, yeah, I, that, that has always been, a, that, that seems like the, that's like the $1 million question. And I've, I've been told many times, if you, if you don't have the experience, then go, go create it yourself. And um, when I mean go create it yourself, um, go, go on, go on Wix, go on Weebly, um, create, create um, some content regarding uh, Golden State Warriors. Um, like, why are they so hot? What makes them so hot? Is it the company culture? So it, at the end of the day, it's um, adding value. How do, how do you add value um, to, to your content and referring to your blog? Am I close? Or that's, that's yeah. kind of that's yeah. that's kind of the drift I, get, I keep getting. <laughs> but you're not gonna get there from here. This is what people don't understand. So you have to get some kind of work experience in order for people to consider you as credible. You have to build relationships to be able to even get in the door and be trusted. So look, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. So Mark's my best friend. So I've taken him along to these different places, but look, this is a year ago. And this is Mark speaking at some event. And Mark is networking with all these various people, right? And if we look at who he's been around and we see these photos of hanging out with important people in digital marketing or just having fun. So let's see, what's, Mark, what's this? Uh, that's a Jake Paul's house. We're in his backyard. That's me and Wes. Jake Paul. Do you guys know who Jake Paul is? You heard of Jake Paul? No? Yeah. I'm doing a webinar. You want to join me? Okay. Sorry, we're doing a webinar live right now. Yeah, and you can talk to me, but just know I'm doing a webinar. Okay? Yeah. So when you associate with other people that are working for... Let's see if I can do the... the uh, and get this one, show you something fun. When you're associated with other people that are one or two degrees away, then let's see if this will work. Oh, I don't think this is the one. No, this is not the one. This is loading too slow. Let's see. Um, oh, let's see, toilet water, that's the one I'll do. So if, even if you don't know Jake Paul, if you work with other people that are working with the people you wanna work with, you're just one or two degrees away, that's the key here. Oh, you know what? I have so many tabs open, it won't even let me. <laughs> I can't even get there. Toilet water. And get there. So while I'm waiting on that to load, the key is you've got to build connections. So follow these people on Twitter. Follow them on LinkedIn. Make sure you're consuming their content so you're saying things that are intelligent, right? Where they are, you know, they're, they're saying, hey, that is really awesome. 
and here if I can show you this one. See, if you volunteer, if you become an apprentice, if you go through our training and then you say, hey, I would really like to help with video editing just to be able to get some experience, right? Then we're happy to give you guys an opportunity. Look at this one. So this is one that Mark helped us on. This is the one I'm thinking of. Learn from the other people who have done it. We don't claim that we know everything. We are just here to bring everyone together. So my friend, Dr. Glenn Vo is a dentist and he has over 26,000 other dentist friends across the nation that need help. We have this progression on how you can be an influencer. I've heard it called dark energy and light energy. Yeah. And the dark energy is I'm gonna prove you wrong. Yeah. And the light energy is I'm gonna inspire you. All right, so Jake, the next thing for the financial freedom movement is a very practical way for people to make money. All right, I'm here with my guy, Armani Azadi. You may have heard of him before. What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here. Hey, Anthony Morrison here. Welcome to Affiliate Marketing Bootcamp. The Gene Yes process. Super honored and excited to be a part of this training. Thank you for Jake and everybody for putting this together. See, so if all this, so if you guys want to work on training, if you guys want to work on the clients that we have, show us that you're interested, show us that you're willing to make videos of yourself, even if you don't have any hair like me, right? Mark has been able to work on Nike. You guys have heard of Nike or Rosetta Stone, Jack Daniels. We got to hang out in Lynchburg, Tennessee. That's pretty cool, right? Where Jack Daniels is made. And it's all because of relationships. And when Mark, when Mark first started with us, what is it, like nine years ago or something like that, he didn't have any experience in digital marketing. But because he built relationships and he got to know the people behind the scene. So, you know, LinkedIn, it's great to know about LinkedIn, but what if you were good friends with the, the head of global content marketing at LinkedIn, our buddy Jason Miller, right? That's what makes all the difference. So you remember how Jake was mentioning our buddy Glenn Vo? Glenn Vo is a dentist. Glenn Vo has 32,000 dentists that follow him. He's a successful dentist. Then I can go look at, and we're friends on Facebook, so I love the chat on Facebook, but look, Glenn Vo, right? So this guy here, he's also a client of ours. And he's got, he's, you know, he, he runs his dental practice in Denton. He also runs a group. He's so successful that he has 32,000 dentists that follow him, right? And all those dentists, you know this guy, the Salt Bay guy? All these other people are wanting to work with him. So when Glenn says, hey, I'm a, I'm a dentist, and if you're, you're a dentist, then, you know, I, then here's what you need to do be a successful dentist. He and I are chatting about this stuff, right? We're going to go see him in Dallas in a week and a half, right? It's great. And Mark is going to get his teeth worked on with Dr. Glenn, right? Look, Glenn said, hey, come join me on Clubhouse to ask, ask some question. Like, okay, that's cool, right? But we're doing a lot of cool stuff together. We're doing some TikTok stuff. And everything that we do can be seen by 32,000 other dentists. See, look. See, talking about Mr. Mark, right? Said, hey, my best friend Mark needs some help with his, with his teeth. Can you help out? Does he have an x-ray? No. Then it's like, oh, let, let's set this thing up, right? How can I help you, my friend? Anything I can do for you, right? Are those are connections. That's what you want to have. Let me ask you this. What is, I, sir, what's more powerful? What would you rather have? Great connections or great knowledge? If you could choose only one, which one? Sir? What was that, Mohammed? Uh, uh, the great connection, like when you relate to something, you got related to that. That's right, great connections. If I had to choose, if I, if I were to lose everything that I knew, 
and I had just my friends, I could rebuild everything. But having great knowledge is great too, Maria. Why? Because knowledge will allow you to add value so you can build those connections. But ultimately your ability to make money, to have a good career in digital marketing is based on your connections. Also doing a good job, doing really good work, having that great knowledge is what will drive great connections. Because if you have great connections, but you don't do good work, then you, you develop a bad reputation, right? All right. Mr. Mark, you're, you took your video off. Did you, did you take off <laughs> or go somewhere else? Maybe. You know what it is? It's I have the touch bar and sometimes I press it by mistake. Okay. It keeps happening. So Mark, share some knowledge. Give some advice, some encouragement for everyone here. What do they need to be thinking about to build their career as a designer, as a digital marketer, as an SEO, as a video editor, right? If they don't have any connections, they don't have much experience, what do they need to be thinking about? Well, it's a levels thing. There's different people you need to know at different stages of the game. So right now you can find someone in your community who's trying to market their business and you can work with them and make sure you're talking about how you helped them. And then you move up to the next thing. Maybe you helped your local government. Maybe you helped someone in another country. Maybe you're working with a company in the United States. Maybe you're leveraging an advantage you have there. Like you have a bunch of friends who all want to do marketing in Pakistan and they, you have a connection here, like myself or Dennis, you've met us and you have a good opportunity. You can, you know, contact someone here or someone that you met in this room and start to work together on things. That's the first step. And then you'll find that you get higher and higher on the, on that level scale that I was talking about. Yeah. But yeah. Sure talk about publicly what you're working on and how you've helped others. Yeah. So if you, your best thing, if you want to move up in the world of digital marketing, you should follow Mark. Follow Izar, right? Follow Charles and Fuang, right? Make those connections and say, here's one cool thing that I learned from coming to our, our meeting, you know, talking about how to build your career in digital marketing. I learned that AI is so powerful that it can make me a great content writer, even if I, if I don't speak French, right? I learned that connections are more important than knowledge, but I need them both together. I learned that I've got to be able to make video to create connections. I learned that if I can just get experience at one company, like the Golden State Warriors, it doesn't have to be Nike. It, it can be just, like Mark said, it starts in different levels, right? Fuang is nodding because you just need to work on one. If you wanted to do something for Glenn Vo, and you could say, look, I'm trying to get my experience. You know, I'm a professional digital marketer, but I don't have much experience. Can I work, can I help you out by working on one of your projects, right? Just to get experience and show that I can do a really good job. I know that you've got 32,000 dentists, or I know that you have some projects that, you know, maybe you could give it to me because it's low risk. Because the key is you want to do such a good job that that becomes a reference, it becomes what we call a lighthouse. A lighthouse is an example that you can talk about. So we've been able to talk about the Golden State Warriors and put the head of marketing on stage, interview the head of marketing, interview the head of digital marketing, interview the other people who work at the Golden State Warriors. And they, and while it's good for them, they also talk about us and they say, it's been a pleasure working with Dennis's team the last five or six years because they're driving an extra $35 million every year just through Facebook ads, for example, right? That's what I want you guys to be thinking about. So when this is over, I want you to take out your phone, point it at your face, and make a video about something that you learned. And I want you to share that on LinkedIn. And I want you to tag Mark or me or Izar. And when we see that we're tagged, or tag all three of us. And when you see that we're tagged, or you know, when we see that, you're, that you've tagged us, we're gonna comment and share. And then when we comment on your post, what does that do? Charles, what does that do? Or Fong, what does that do when we comment on your post? It adds exposure and traction. And why, also, is that, why does that matter? Well, it's well, it's content exposure. It also endorses your content, your video as well. Commentary, likes, it all combines and works and gels together. Right. Because what would, you know, if, if I'm someone in, in the United States and I'm looking to hire a graphics designer, am I going to mm -hmm. hire someone who is engaging with Mark Wagner and is saying something intelligent, 
or am I going to hire all these other, one of these random people who's just got a picture of his guitar? Sadia Salim has a picture of a black guitar. Well, what the heck is that, right? I'm going to hire the person where I'm going to, I see their face, right, Charles? So Charles, you can, you can see the same, you're in the gallery view. You can see all these people here, right? Hmm. We, we see Amsal has a ghost picture there. We see these other people. Fatima is a completely black background. She's a, just got a green S. Do you see these? Do you see all the people that are here? Hmm. Who are you gonna hire, Charles? That, like, are you gonna hire Fouad? Because you can see her. You can see Saad. Saad has got a mask on, but I can still see him. Maybe he's smiling, maybe he's not. I can't tell, right? Abdullah's got awesome hair and an awesome beard, right? Look, Ghoul is, is wearing a cool shirt and he looks like someone who's friendly and trustworthy. Uh, sir, may I ask one question? Sure. I want to see you, Ikra. Uh, if I want to do business just for my identity, not for money, then what I have to do? What is I have focus on? If you want to do business with people, you have to show your face because people do business with people. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I can't face my. I can't show my face. Oh, you can't. Okay. Well show something, you know, show your personality. We're hearing your voice. I can tell a lot about your voice just by hearing you. Go on the clubhouse. Uh, they can hear you on clubhouse, right? They can't see you on clubhouse. Smile, look, look, look at Izar. Look at Izar and Charles. They have great <laughs> No doubt I have smiling face and good personality. No doubt I have much confidence to speak in other, but uh, uh, mostly people prefer to uh, make money, but I, I don't like this. I just want to do business uh, to show myself, to tell the people what I am, who I am, what can I do. That's it. Yeah. I don't want money. Yeah. You want brand identity. Yeah. So what's the power of a, so Mark, what, help everyone understand the power of a personal brand. Well, deep down, we're still humans. We're just, we've come a long way in looking at things quantitatively, comparing brands and, and value and metrics. Our company analyzes metrics. But at the end of the day, we still get a strong feeling about someone that we can't get about an object. When you look at just like a swoosh, that's just a swoosh. It doesn't mean anything. But when you think about the athlete wearing the shoe, now, you, now you're connecting to that person. Now you are thinking about their traits and what their thoughts are, their feelings, their mission, and how similar you are to them. And you're taking advantage of a basic tenet of human psychology. So your brand is just representative of, of you, how you, who you are. And it will connect you no matter what you're working in, your personal brand is going to be an important part of your marketing strategy. Yeah. Because people yeah. do people. Right. Yes. People. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're speaking out because Ikra, you're, did I say your name right? <laughs> Thank you. Because you're asking questions, every one person who asks, asks a question, that usually means there's 20 other people who didn't ask the question but was thinking the same thing. Yeah, and I usually ask the stupid questions <laughs> as I did today. Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong. This, look, we're all learning. I learn every day. I know so little. Yeah. I used to be a good engineer, but I learned from Mark. Mark is showing me all these tools I've never seen before, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Other questions? What do you guys think? Uh, no. No more questions. Yeah. Does anyone else have questions? Uh, I was sure, so I got a question. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show my face uh, back right now. There you are. Muhammad, Hi. look, you've got a great smile. You seem like someone I would hire. Yeah, good. Sir, uh, my question is like that. Uh, uh, people are saying when you want to do something great in life or you go for something, achieving uh, something great. So yeah. for that reason, uh, like you have to have a good personality. What is meant by this personality thing? Like we are uh, uh, doing, you know, you can't be suited everywhere because each and everybody has got different uh, kind of, uh, you know, different religion, different uh, things. So we have to like things in mind. So what is this meant by build your own personality? Can I have something on that? Please? Yeah. 
Mark, what do you think? Got me. Well, you could you clarify that question a little bit? Uh, sir, my question is: uh, If you want to do something great, you have to have a great personality. So, my question is: What is meant by that great personality? Well, I think you have to have a personality that excites and interests people that they can relate to. And you have to just have a personality. I'd agree great is very subjective. I don't know if there's such a thing as a great personality, but there is such a thing as an interesting personality. So if you can captivate people with that, if they want to see what you're doing, even if you're, even if you're angry, like, but you're Gordon Ramsay and you're a jerk, you're a dick, you're making fun of people in the kitchen. Would you say he has a great personality? I don't know, but he has a great personality for TV. So that's the difference. So if you want to do something, your personality, if you want to do something in marketing, you have to have an, an outstanding personality. If you want to be an inventor that doesn't talk to people or anything, then maybe your personality would be different in that case. But for marketing, you have to have a personality that I would say is captivating. So that's the right adjective is captivating. Yeah, you have to be seen, right? So Mohammed, you could have a great personality, I guess, but if you're not producing content, if you're not engaging with other people, if you're not sharing your thoughts, you don't have to be Gary Vaynerchuk. Not everyone has to be, you know, Donald Trump or somebody like that. Yeah. You have to make known what your vision is. If you've got a great vision, like Muhammad, what's your vision? What do you want to get? Um, I, um, uh, I, I personally do uh, like something on a pre freelancing, et cetera, but I want to do a great job, like a business setup, et cetera, like the people that have. Like I have the uh, zeal and this for this yeah. entrepreneurship thing. Yeah. Well, you need to share that. Share what you're doing with some of your clients. Interview your clients. Show that you're more than just a freelancer, right? Show what you care about. And what Mark is talking about with being captivating and interesting comes from some kind of emotional expression because you're doing it because you care about your mom and you want to be able to buy her a house, right? or you care about some particular angle? Uh, the social status, like, like um, I haven't seen anybody, like if you, you go for the this, uh, uh, jobs or the American great people like uh, the Jack Ma Chinese people. These all people are doing work on their own, like no government shopping them, nothing. They have this sense of an uh, great thing and they, they got their self hard work and they're now on this side, uh, it's like they rule the world. Yeah, yeah. One step at a time. Follow people like Mark and me in his R. Look at what we're doing. Don't just listen to what we're saying. But people that are great, it's not because they're great at a skill necessarily. It's great because they have a vision that's so big that it pulls in other people. And uh, share uh, people that you admire, right? Share stories from your life that reflect. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption, but may I ask one question? Sure. Last one, last one. Okay, I'm, I'm not making so many irritations with that. From Mark, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, my sir, Abdul, Bat uh, uh, Abdul Basit is uh, constantly uh, texting in the uh, chat box. He's saying that I have learned many skills like SEO, WordPress, et cetera, but I don't know from where should I start and any tips regarding this. Sir, this is the same story as me. I have a well-known skill to search on the fiber upwork and lots of marketplaces, but uh, I'm not getting uh, noticed. Like um, uh, my gigs and et cetera are uh, uh, taking clicks, but still I'm not getting any kind of, you know, job offer. You know why, right? Why? People like me as a buyer, when I'm looking to hire somebody, what am I looking for? Like Mark, when, when you see a whole bunch of freelancers that do WordPress or SEO or whatever, they're all inside Fiverr or Upwork or whatever. What are you looking for? I'm looking for someone who has, is, can demonstrate what they're going to do because I want to know what I'm paying for. Yep. So if they can show me what they're going to do first, their recipe, that I'm not going to steal it from them and do it myself. I'm just going to say, well, wow, that's great. Okay, I feel more secure knowing what's about to be done with my product and what I'm going to be getting. So if you can do something, you should talk about it. You should educate. Yeah. And most people, they'll put up a couple pictures. They'll have some things inside their portfolio of websites they've worked on. But you know how to stand out is to have not just lots of these and lots of great reviews, which is, you know, of course, important in the freelancer networks. Look, I don't even have any reviews. I'm not even there. I'm 
You know, the way I get business is because I'm sharing stories. I'm teaching how I'm doing something. So if you're great at WordPress, write a couple articles about, you know, how to set up SSL on WordPress or about how you use these SEO tools, you know, the all-in-one SEO tool, or talk about how you look at the analytics of a WordPress site to see how it's ranking or how you build landing pages and what, and what are the tools that you use to do that? So share your knowledge. That's how you're going to stand out because 90% of these people, they're not even sharing how they're doing stuff. They just created a profile. They say, I'm available to do SEO or WordPress. Well, you know what? You're just like all the other people. You don't stand out. Show a little personality, like Mark said. Build up your social media a little bit. Have your website, you know? Mark, Mark has been building his website. So I'll show you, for example. And then we're, I'll, we're, we gotta go because it's been here. We've been here two hours. But if I go to markwagner.biz, he's sharing all kinds of stuff. Look, here's one, why local marketing is eating the world, right? And he's got a whole article about this. And then he has other articles, how to communicate and moderate on Clubhouse, right? You see this? So he's sharing knowledge about how to do stuff, but then he's also sharing knowledge about his company, Gantry. And he's got articles about this. How do you use Argo? Oh, okay. So if, if I know, like, this is not my area, Kubernetes and cloud management, but Look at how he's sharing content here. He's got articles. You just click each one. Argo explained. I don't even know what Argo is, right? But here, here he's explaining what it is. And I think he might even have a video, right? He's explaining what it is, right? Look. What do we need to know about Argo? So anyway, there's that, okay? And so here's, here's all this stuff. And then you can hire him for services, right? Now, if you are, are a competitor where you're doing these cloud Kubernetes, you know, server management, you know, site reliability engineering work, but, you know, if, if, if you're gonna hire somebody to work on Argo or Kubernetes, are you gonna hire the person who's talking about it and is actually demonstrating how it works? Is you know, has it on the screen and is pointing out how it works? Right in your right? cluster and you can see. Or are you gonna hire somebody who's on, on Fiverr or whatever, or Upwork, and it says, oh yeah, I do Argo, but you don't really get a sense of who they are. Who are you gonna hire? You're the hiring manager. You have you know, 20 people that claim they all know how to use this particular tool, but one of them has created a video explaining how it works. Who are you going to hire? You see the difference? That's the main point of today, what I want you guys to understand. Mark's just wearing a t-shirt, albeit it's a Google t-shirt. So at least it shows that he has some kind of credibility because people are thinking, where do you get that Google t-shirt, right? Do you, do you see why that's important for credibility? Okay, yeah, I got this point. Okay, good. Charles is building a website as we speak. All right, good. We have time for maybe one more question. Who wants to ask yes. a good question? Maybe Azar. Anyone can ask a question. We have already done this view. If anyone have a question, please ask. We have only one question and we will close this phone. Hi. Uh, I'm yep. Maria from Mangalakand, Pakistan. Okay, so I'm new to this. Uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know anything about LinkedIn and but I'm interested in business. That's why I uh, I woke up and uh, uh, I attended this webinar. So I just I just want to know okay, how I start. How can I start? But what? How can I start can, this call? I will translate for you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So for okay. all of you guys here, we want, Mark and I want to open up our training and we have trained thousands of digital marketers and gotten them, even with no experience, have gotten their jobs as designers, you know, editors, WordPress, SEO, all of this. But to gain entry, you're going to have to make a video on your cell phone about what you've learned today, about branding, 
about how to stand out, about how connections and relationships are important, right? About sharing your knowledge like Mark is doing with Gantry.cloud. And I want you to email that to me here at operations. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Operations at blitzmetrics.com. Oops, I'm gonna put that in everyone here, okay. So operations at blitzmetrics.com. I put it in the chat here. And I want you to take your video and upload that to LinkedIn. And then take that LinkedIn post URL. Don't upload the video as an attachment. So this is our test of who's following directions, right? You make that video, post it on LinkedIn, say something about it, and then share that LinkedIn URL to operations at blitzmetrics.com. And I want your subject line to be, I love Mark Wagner. Okay, that will be the subject line. So let's see who can follow those directions. Then an email to operations at blitzmetrics.com. Include the LinkedIn URL that has a video that you've made about something that you've learned here. Do not attach the video. Do not upload the video to the email. Post the video to LinkedIn. Include the LinkedIn URL in the body. And the subject line is I love Mark Wagner. Okay. okay, if you do that, we're going to give you access to the training today, but you're going to have to do it today. There's no catch. We're not selling anything. But if you can't follow those directions, then you're going to struggle in the world of digital marketing. So this is our test to see who can follow directions. Yep, Charles has got it. He's already taking notes. I know he's paying attention. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. I would Thank love you so to much. all you guys become pros at digital marketing. And it starts with being able to make a video. There you go. All right, so let's give the final word to Mark. Mark, some encouraging words and thoughts for everyone here. They're spending their Saturday morning hanging out. Of all the things they could be doing, we're hanging out together, so I appreciate that. Execute, execute, don't wait. Marketing isn't something where you wait a long time to release things, publish, put things out there right away, do a minimal editing, just get it going, and make a lot of content, make a lot of noise, Talk about your knowledge, share your expertise. You will find position because nobody else is doing that. Yeah, amen. Everyone should understand that. Don't think that just because some of these other people have a better connection or people look at me and say, oh, well, it's easy for Dennis because he knows everybody. Look, I started out in the same place you were a few years ago. I didn't know anybody. I didn't even speak English. Can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't speak English until I was seven. And it just requires the persistence that Mark is talking about. So you do that and you learn and you follow these other people and you make little videos. You'll be surprised because somebody, when they notice you, the, the issue with everyone here is that you're not even seen. So you've got to be seen. If people can see you, they can hire you, they can reach out to you. But I bet you there's a lot of people here in this room that are knowledgeable, that are hardworking, but no one even knows who you are. You don't even have a LinkedIn. They don't even know what your face looks like. They don't even know if you're, if you've got a good personality or easy to work with, right? Charles learned English at the age of 10. What did you speak before? Italian? Same, Italian. sir. I... Okay, okay. Can I, can I speak? Sure. Yeah. Sir, one issue I have, I face almost on daily basis. Um, as I want to expose my, I expose myself to the world, okay, not to the world, at least to the Pakistan. So no one do believe to me, I, at least on my family, don't believe to me. As I tell you, last time I, I asked my father to do uh, for some money to do start business. And you know what, what he said to me, oh, what you will do, what you can do, uh, how you can do this, you can't. How I can do make them believe me? Easy. You get a couple clients and you start making money doing digital marketing. <laughs> yeah. Choose a niche. You choose one thing you're good at. Choose, get one skill. Get some experience. And here, I'll, I'll end this as like, this is my final point. But if Azar and, and Yes, Mark I also want to expose my skills. But uh, you know what? What he said to me, you are only of 20. What you can do this, yeah? How yeah. you can do? So Mark, what age did you start digital marketing? 
I, I think it's sort of digital. I don't, you know, I don't know because I was doing marketing. What do you consider digital marketing? I was running ads on Craigslist when I was like 15. There you go. But I think I really got into it at about uh, 19. Yeah. Hey, yes, sir, you are blind. My younger brother is of 16. Great. And my father spotted him. But what, what I am here, what I do? I also want this support. You have a huge advantage at age because people that are older are not very good at social media. Your youth is an advantage because it means you're eager, you're able to learn, you're able to put in the kind of time, right? Mm -hmm. it, it yeah, sir, thank you. Not a disadvantage except in your mind. Yeah. And digital yes, sir. You know, a young person's game. I usually, I usually satisfy myself to say this, no need, anyone. I can do this myself. Got no need. Yeah. No need your money. No need your sport. No need your words. I can do it. I can do it myself. You got no it. need. That's right. You're going to show all these haters. And that makes your success yeah. that much more sweet when you win. <laughs> Thank you. you. I'm so glad you're here. As a dentist, you mostly say that if you don't quit, you win. If you don't quit, you win. Yep. That's something a mentor taught me. Yes. Yes. I learned from you this thing. Yeah. The world of digital marketing. Here's one thing I, I want you guys to understand. The, almost nobody knows how to do digital marketing. Okay. People think they know, people say they know, but there's very few people who actually can do it even at the most basic level. If you can't even do it at the most basic level, then, you know, it's, it's, there's not even a competition out there. I know it looks like there's a competition. It looks like these other people are famous, but there's, there's literally millions of businesses that need help, even in the United States. In the United States, we have businesses that will pay a lot of money compared to what people make in Pakistan, yeah? I mean, you could have local Pakistani businesses that you work with in Islamabad or whatnot, but I'm telling you, when you get clients in the United States that pay you for digital marketing because you're engaging with people in the United States on their content, like you're engaging with Mark or me, that gives you a huge advantage because all your other 99% of the other you know, compatriots in Pakistan don't have any connections in the United States. They don't have any connections to folks like Charles in Australia. What an advantage, right? Make those connections. You're literally right here. Right now, we are together in the same room. You might never have this opportunity again. So you should jump on it. And if you miss it, shame on you, right? I'm so, so glad that you, you guys are speaking up and you're asking questions. And if you haven't, that's okay. But Ikra, that's you, Ikra, right? I'm glad that you're speaking up and making things happen. That's what you need to yeah, do. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Everyone needs to follow her example. Yeah, Mark's huh? a great attitude. Okay. Yeah, follow her example. Go for it. If you don't go for it, if you don't raise your hand, you miss the opportunity. All right. Well, my, English is, my English is not too much good. I did not get your point. <laughs> my, my point is the encouragement. It's what Dr. Zamin is saying. Go for it. Don't let these other people who have never done it tell you it's not possible. They don't know what they're talking about. Encouragement. I just believe that we should enjoy our life. Yeah. There is nothing in making money. There is nothing in PR, making PR. What is this? This is our temporary just for some time, you should, uh, we should just enjoy our life. That's it. We should keep ourselves satisfied internally. That's it. I don't believe in making money. And uh, what is money? Yes. We can beg money from father. We can beg money from uh, um, brother. Uh, if uh, if uh, we can take this from in Muftame, <laughs> so why you do um, struggle for money? Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Azar, for organizing this room. I apologize that we lost a bunch of people because this is the weird Zoom thing. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it and maybe we could do it again. You know, if a lot of you guys are engaging and making videos, follow Mark on LinkedIn. Send in your, your one-minute video, LinkedIn piece, right? And if you guys like it, we'll do another one. I hope you guys had some fun. Yeah, sir. It was great. We learned lots of things and hope, uh, we see you soon. Okay. Uh
Yeah, all right, you. unmute and say hi, goodbye. Great meeting you all. Mark, Dennis, Azir, thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. Have a good Have night. Have a great Saturday. Cool Bye. video. Thank you Bye. all. Bye-bye. Excellent. Thanks, Dennis, for your time. Australia. Yeah.